Okay, uh, good morning or good afternoon, whichever it is. Uh, getting to it a little bit later today, um, I guess <laughs> um, my original plan was to uh, do it all in the morning, but you know, a lot happened today. You know, went to church today, went there at eight o'clock, a whole lot happened. So maybe I might be reading these things a little bit later, but what I want to do is I definitely want to read it in the morning prior to getting started with everything else. But as it stands right now, uh, went to church, uh, got back, and unfortunately, since I do um, IT support, I actually had to um, work with the client for a minute. So right now, I have a break, I'm waiting on them to send me some data, and before the day gets too hectic, I decided to go ahead on a read now because you don't want to put it off. You always want to do it first, but uh, my primary objective is to try to do it in the morning. But right now, today, I'm going to be reading uh, Genesis chapters 10 through 12, and uh, Matthew 4 of the King James Version. Genesis chapter 10. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tyrus, and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Repath, and Togomar, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodenim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizram, and Phut, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba, Havilah, and Saptah, and Ramah, and Saptakah, and the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Calne, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Ashar, and build it Nineveh, and the city Rehoboth, and Calah, and resand between Nineveh and Calah, the same as a great city. And Misram begot Ludim, and Anamim, and Lahabim, and Neptuhim, and Pishrushim, and Kasluim, out of whom came Philistim, and Capturim. And Canaan begot Sadon, his firstborn, and Heth and the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gigasite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvidite, and the Zimmerite, and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of Canaanites spread abroad, abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar, unto Gaza, as thou goest unto Sodom, and Gomorrah, and Admah, Admah, and Zebuim, even until Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, families after their tongues, in their countries and in their nations. But to Shem also the father of all the children of Ebar, and the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Ashar, and Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, and Arphaxad begot Selah, and Selah begot Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktum. And Joktum begot Armadad, and Shaleph, and Hazarimethit, and Jera, and Hedaram, and Uzul, and Dikla. And Ubal and Abumel and Sheba and Ophir and Havilah and Jobab, all these were the sons of Joktan. And their and their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Sephar, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations, in their nations, 
and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from east, from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children were children of men build it, build it. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generation of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begot a fox had two years after the flood, and Shem lived after he begot a fox had five hundred years and begot sons and daughters, and a fox had lived five hundred five and thirty years and begot Shelah, Selah, and a fox had lived after he begot Selah four hundred and three years and begot sons and daughters, and Selah lived thirty years and begot Eber, and Selah lived after he begot Eber four hundred and three years and begot sons and daughters. And Ebar lived four and thirty years and begot Peleg. And Eber lived after he begot Peleg four hundred and thirty years and begot sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years and begot Reu. And Peleg lived after he begot Reu two hundred and nine years and begot sons and daughters. And Rehu lived two and thirty years and begot Serug. And Rehu lived after he begot Serug. 207 years and begot sons and daughters. And Serug lived 30 years and begot Nahor. And Serug lived after he begot Nahor 200 years and begot sons and daughters. And Nahor lived 9 and 20 years and begot Terah. And Nahor lived after he begot Terah 119 years and begot sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years and begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And now these are the generation of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahar, and Haran, and Haran begot Lot. And Haran died before his father, Terah, in the land of his nativity, in Ur of Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The names of Abram's wife was Sarah, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah was barren, she had no child. And Teron took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarah his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Teron were two hundred and five years, and Teron died in Haran. Chapter 12. Now the Lord has said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto the land that I will show thee. And I will make of these a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abram departed, and the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. And Abram took Sarah, his wife, and Lot, his brother, and all of their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sikkim, unto the plain of Morab. And the Canaanite was then in the land. And the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto and said, Until thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar 
to the Lord who appeared unto him. Thence, and he removed from thence upon a mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and Hay on the east. And there he built an altar unto the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed, going on still toward the south. And there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down into Egypt to sojourn there. For the famine was grievous in the land. And it came to pass, when he was come near to enter into Egypt, that he said unto Sarah, Sarah, his wife, Behold now, I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Therefore it should come to pass, when Egypt shall see thee, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they will kill me. But they will save thee alive. Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. And it came to pass that when Abram was coming to Egypt, the Egyptians beheld the woman, that she was very fair. The princes also of Pharaoh saw her and commended her before Pharaoh. Pharaoh and the woman was taken in Pharaoh's house. And he entreated Abram well for her sake, and he had sheep and oxen, and he asses and men servants and maid servants, and she asses and camels. And the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarah, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is it that thou hast done unto me? Why didst thou not tell me that she was thy wife? Why saidest thou she was is my sister? So I might have taken her to be my wife. Now therefore, behold, thy wife, take her and go thy way. And Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him, and they sent him away, and his wife, and all that he had. Matthew chapter 4. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hunger. And when he, when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil had taken him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, Cast thyself down, for it is written, He should give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil had taken him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them, and said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast and in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtalim, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtalim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee, of the Gentiles. The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region, and shadow of death, light had sprung up. From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother in the ship, with Zebedee their father mending their nets. And he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father, and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases, 
and torment, torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. And there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan. Okay, that's it for the day. And um, as you know, as you can see, it is hard for me to pronounce these names. So I will probably be butchering these names uh, the rest of the year. But uh, I'm going to get through it and um, hopefully uh, I'll get better with the names. Maybe I'll break them down in syllables or whatever. Um, but I try to actually read them how they sound. So thank you and uh, have a nice blessed day.